13. Come on. Come on. Come on. There is no better way that God will talk to you than through your marriage. <laughs> There's no better way that God will talk to you than through your marriage. Not your disciple partner or the church, but through your marriage. February the 1st, 2003, Space Shuttle Columbia took off. And it was truly an incredible sight. When you see a, a space shuttle taking off, the power that it takes, it is, it is glamorous. The crowds were there, the family members of the crew, space shuttle crew were there, they were waving their American flags, family members were proud that their son, their daughter, their aunts and uncles were in the space shuttle. About a year later, I was actually flying to Portland for the first time, where I would meet Michael Williamson for the first time. Next to me happened to be an engineer from NASA. We started learning and asked him what happened to the Space Shuttle Columbia. Because when it entered the atmosphere back, it disintegrated, exploded, everyone on the Space Shuttle died. Mm. So what happened, a piece of foam from the external fuel tank got loose hit one of the wings, which are protected by ceramics to protect the shuttle on the re-entry from excessive heat. And what he told me was amazing. He said, you know, most likely NASA knew they were doomed to disaster before they re-entered the atmosphere. <laughs> See, we can look and go on the outside. We can be a shepherd. We can be an evangelist. We can be awesome song leaders. We can be Bible talk leaders. We can be looking like we are the rising star. But really, if our marriage is not good, we are doomed to disaster. Yes. It's only a matter of time. It always concerns me tremendously when I meet brothers and sisters that seem to be doing well, seem to be fired up about the ministry of bearing fruit and everything but they refuse to deal with their marriage. Come on. And as I said, God talks to us through our marriage more than anything else. Because it is at home that you are yourself. Mm. Sometimes we are deceived. <clears throat> See, we think we have to give and we have to deny ourselves out there when we give to the lost when we give to our disciples, when we give to our disciples, but when we are home, now we can be ourselves. And what we mean with that is, now it's my time to be selfish. Now it's my turn to be irritable because I don't like the way my wife is treating me. Now it's my time to treat my wife as if she's a Facebook page. Just press like. And she should be okay with that. <laughs> Woman, put this on and let's dance. And I don't mean like dancing with stars, if you know what I mean. Come on. Now we think that our needs have to be met and not our wives' needs. So here's my challenge for you. If your marriage is not doing well, stop running from it. Come on. Stop running from it. I've been at jobs where the men would work many hours, even if they did not have to. Why? They did not want to go home because they have a bad marriage. Wow. And sometimes we use the kingdom to escape our bad marriage, which is bad because we're not Christ-like in our marriage. And there's something very interesting in the London church that I've never experienced in another church. Maria, my wife, told me a few days ago, she said, you know, there are many sisters in the London church that are not getting their physical needs met by their husband. Usually it's the other way around. The husbands are the ones that are more, let me say, in tune with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I cannot be. But we can also talk about emotional needs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We can also talk about tender love and care. Yeah. See, if those things are not taking place, as men, we are here to lead. Come on. Yeah. 
And I'll close with saying this, I read an article, an interview with an astronaut, and he says, you know, once that door closes in the space shuttle, that is it. There is no way back. <laughs> you may be terrified and petrified, you can stream all you want, that space shuttle is going to go up. <laughs> and whether it comes down or not, safely, it depends on the engineers that designed the space shuttle. Oh, but see, as your wife is, by biblically, the weaker part. See, when she said, yes, I do to you that day, she locked herself in that space shuttle. <laughs> you need to make sure she feels safe. Because if she doesn't feel safe, you're not going to feel good about yourself. Hebrews <laughs> 13 4 says, marriage should be honored by all. Let me ask you this in closing. Is your marriage one that's worthy of honor by all? Thank you. Amen.